This is the second installment on modifications and repairs. In this installment, I am going to be relocating the receiver and the antenna and moving them to drier locations. Uh, the antenna, someone else had suggested doing. Uh, the receiver, I'm carrying it one step farther. The reason for relocating the receiver is twofold. One, I wanted to get out of the water, and two, because I'm moving the antenna, it lets me get a higher location for the antenna uh, and makes it a little easier to do that. Uh, as far as the water goes, uh, you've probably noticed if you have one of these boats, they do take on water and it sloshes around in the hull which doesn't thrill me with all the electronic components in there. In another video, the producer of it uh, used some sponges in the hull to try and soak up water. Seemed like a good idea. Here I put one between the motors, and in the next one you'll see I put one up in the uh, bay up in the front under the machine gun. And here we have the sponges that I put in the servo bay up front. Now, I guess you could put them any place up front, but that seemed nice and convenient and keep them from flying around since I'm not putting a servo up there. Uh, of course, you're also going to have to squeeze them out and dry them out uh, when you're done running it. Otherwise, you're going to end up mildewed and uh, stinky in there. Uh, you may also note I've painted the anchor. I've done some other personalization of the boat. Uh, and you may notice these things as we go along. In order to make this work, I was going to need six inch extension cables for the wires that were going to remain in the hull. The, uh, you know, the, the servos that are still down there will still need power and they will need to reach the bridge where the receiver is going to be moved to. The receiver was moved up to the bridge, placed behind the steering wheel, which you can see I've also painted. Uh, I used double-sided tape to put it in place. Now, when plugging in wires, you will have to support the other half of it because part of the receiver is hanging over a void. Uh, but it was a very nice, convenient place to put it. And as you'll see, it worked very well. And here's a close-up of the receiver in place. Uh, it's a nice, convenient location. It's out of the way and it moves it up closer to the hole where the fake antenna goes. Now you may also notice if you take a look, I've marked a plus there next to the wires. That's because I was also having problems with the light stork, which will be in the next uh, installment. And I had to figure out which wires were positive and which were negative, since the uh, polarity of the LEDs does make a difference. The antenna is in position. I brought it up through the hole where the fake antenna went, which is right by the receiver now. I did open the hole up a little uh, rather than trying to force it through. It might have fit, but I thought it was too snug. So I widened it just a little to get the antenna through. Then I can bend it back and tuck it under the brass rod for the canopy which the canopy has also been painted, as you may have noticed. Of course, I wanted things to match and look symmetrical. So on the other side, I took one of the dummy antennas and gently bent it to match the original antenna. This is brass rod. It is malleable. You can bend it carefully and 
get it uh, uh, in place. Uh, it took me a couple minutes because I was trying to match the same contours as you'll see in the next picture, but it, I think it came out looking good. And then I painted it uh, flat aluminum to match the antenna on the other side, uh, rather than leaving it the olive drab. Here's a head-on shot with the two antennas in place. On the left, we have the dummy antenna. You can see it comes up and curves over. And on the right, we have the real antenna that does the same thing, and it's tucked under over the, uh, on that side. The uh, uh, light stalk in the center, you can see I have some uh, contour putty on. This was part of the reason why I'm in here doing all of this. Uh, I had an encounter with a low hanging tree in the lake and had to fix the lights and a couple other things on the boat and decided to do some of this other stuff while I was in there. So there are the two antennas and the color matches. The contours are pretty close and I think it came out looking fairly well. Here is how the antennas look uh, with the superstructure in place from a forward point of view. Now you can also notice I did a little bit of painting on the life preserver. Uh, I also added a rope line to it uh, at the end of the project. And that completes this phase of the project. So here we added some sponges to soak up water in the hull. We relocated the transmitter and added wire extensions to the uh, cables that remain in the hull. And we relocated the antenna and cosmetically adjusted the dummy antenna so that they looked alike.